Over the past few years, lumber prices have been super volatile, swinging wildly up and down like a roller coaster. Recently though, lumber prices have fallen about 30% from their highs. But does that mean that prices will come down? Or are we still on that roller coaster? Well, I happen to think that we are in for a drop in lumber prices in the very near future, and one that will be sustained. And the reason for it is because of inflation and higher interest rates. Now that may sound weird, but stick around and I'll explain to you what's going on. Since the start of the pandemic, lumber prices have been out of control, shooting up, then dying down, and doing it all over again. There have been a lot of reasons for it, and I've talked a lot about them on this channel. They range from increased demand, to shortages, to forest fires, to lumber tariffs. I have a whole playlist of all of my lumber price videos if you want to check that out here. But something is different now, and it has to do with demand. Now, I've talked before about supply and demand using these demand curves. They illustrate how prices are a function of supply and demand. When supply goes up, prices come down. And when demand goes up, prices go up. And we've seen that play out in real time with all the changes in lumber prices over the past few years. Now, however, things are different and there are two major reasons, interest rates and inflation. Now let's first talk about interest rates. Most of the demand for lumber comes from new home construction in the United States. And ever since the housing crisis of 2008, the U.S. has not built enough homes to keep up with the number of people who are now at the age to buy a home. That has led to high demand and high home prices and therefore high lumber prices. But now with interest rates increasing, certain people will not be able to afford to buy a new home. To illustrate that, let's look at a mortgage for an average home buyer. Let's say a buyer gets a loan for $250,000 to buy a home. An increase of a quarter percent on their interest rate will lead to a payment that is about $36 higher per month. Now that doesn't sound like a lot until you consider that the Federal Reserve is expected to make six more rake heights in 2022. This could lead to a monthly mortgage payment that is around $225 more. And that will definitely have an impact to demand as some people will just not be able to afford to make those payments. Now, the whole reason why the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates is to counteract inflation. But inflation is having its own impact on lumber demand. The latest numbers from the Federal Reserve on inflation peg it at 8.5% year over year. That's huge and it hasn't been that high since 1981. In real terms, what that does is make everything more expensive. Food is more expensive, gas is more expensive. Ironically though, this inflation may actually make lumber prices cheaper. And now here's why. A huge driver for lumber demand in 2020 was people who were stuck in their homes during COVID. Instead of spending money on travel, they spent their money on renovations and backyard patios. That combined with demand from housing and shortages in the supply chain pushed lumber prices way up. Today, people are able to travel without much difficulty and with the price of basic necessities going up, there isn't any money left over for those home improvement projects. That is going to cause demand for lumber to go down. And if it's sustained, the price will also come down. But what about inflation, you may ask? Wouldn't inflation also push up the price of lumber because it's pushing up the price of everything? Well, again, the answer here is no. And that's because the increase in lumber prices, which started in 2020, was one of the first things to go up and stay up. Uh, it was one of the original drivers of inflation in the first place. High lumber prices made everything more expensive, not just homes, but anything built from wood or even shipped on a wooden pallet cost more. This includes everything from washing machines to food and, and everything in between. Also, inflation is up around 10% or so since 2020, but lumber prices have actually gone up by over 300% at different times. Inflation is not what's driving lumber prices. In fact, it's the other way around. Lumber prices are in part causing inflation. So in the end, higher interest rates and high inflation are going to put pressure on demand for lumber, and that's gonna push lumber prices down. Now, I don't think it's gonna happen right away. I think we're still in for a little bit of volatility, but here in a few months, I think we're gonna see some real changes in lumber prices. And I predict that at least six months and, and probably this time next year, lumber prices will be significantly lower than they are right now. 
So again, it may sound crazy, but high interest rates and high inflation are actually gonna cause lumber prices to come down. So what do you think? Do you think that demand and prices are gonna come down or am I crazy? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next one.